Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he'll find Chase on the right side complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Mixon going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. Here's a run with Mixon, and he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon punching it in from a yard away. And the Bengals post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. 13 yards remaining on second down. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it in a double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. And they'll be stopped right at the 30. On a play that started back at the 15, they pick up 15. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. 
the middle they go with Moster. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Five yards, now it's third and five. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Two are going to throw. He is going to find Hill here. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it. The Bengals drive about to get going. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw taken in here by Chase. He's at the 40, 20, and all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Bengals have moved out in front. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Thomas. 
to throw on second and ten. Burrow, quick slant caught by Chase. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up. In and he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great work, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Back to the air on second down, Tonga Vailoa. He's going to wind up and air it out. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he's going to be forced out of bounds inside the five-yard line. A big play there just before halftime, 48 yards. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. First down, here's Burrow. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him He's got second and third down to fall back on. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. On second down, here's Mixon. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. Time for a break. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. Let's go, pick it up, D. 52's the mic right here, over there, right? 52's the mic. Ah! 
Mix it up the middle. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Again, it's Mixon. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They go play action with Burrow. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. the touchdown McPherson on to kick this one away and he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line at the line ready for their next drive they are looking to make a bit of a 180 they are sputtering right now and frankly I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say all right guys we're gonna lean on you through this patch we need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction so you're calling plays geared to them not necessarily what you look at your plays oh this hurts the defense I want the ball in the hands of X Y and Z and see if we can move forward so don't get too cute go to the playmakers Ready. From midfield, here's Tua. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Setting the throw on first down is Tua. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. They overload him that time on the safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. From the gun, a run with Moster. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. It's a seven-yard gain that gets him back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Logan Wilson. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. Go. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. 
Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. That one goes for 24 yards. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They snapped that at one. Now it's Burrow. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. To throw once more on second and 10, Burrow. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I think he might have been a little bit too focused on turning up field. He didn't stay in bounds. He caught the ball, but he wanted to catch it and run, get that rack yardage so badly, he forgot to stay in bounds first. On third down, Burrow. Slant pass to Bowie. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. From the gun, a give to Mixon. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. 